Alright y'all, so we've got another video from Beauty Forever Hair. This go around, we are, we, we are wearing, I am wearing their 13 by 4 lace wig. It is in water wave, 180% density, and it's in 24 inches. And this is how it looks straight out of the box. And I'm just giving you a rundown of the wig like always. Combs, adjustable strap in the back. So this is how the wig looks not plucked, like right in this little section. And then I'm gonna flip it over right here and that is what I did as far as plucking. So it could use a little bit of work. I did not pluck this wig the absolute best. I, I don't know what was going on, but yeah. So this is the hair washed um, and air dried a little bit. And of course I did bleach the knots. The knots didn't take as, as great as I wanted them to, but you know, it is what it is. So my hair is in mini twists under this, so I was able to get a really flat install and the fit was really nice, you guys. It's actually a perfect fit for me. Um, I was very, very happy with it because I, I need big head friendly wigs and I think this is just a regular size cap. So just keep that in mind if you have a larger head like I do. So I'm cutting the lace in different sections. Like um, I think I ended up doing like six, five or six small sections. Um, just going back and forth with my scissors and my razors like you see me doing here. So I'm gonna kind of cut the middle like on both my like I, you guys see where I'm cutting it <laughs> it's hard to explain and then I'm just gonna take my freeze spray and I'm gonna um, apply the freeze spray like directly on the lace I normally just go underneath and spray it on my you know my hairline first my skin first whatever you want to call it but now I'm just spraying it directly on the wig and then I'm just gonna blow dry that part down and then I'm gonna do my ear tabs last this gave me a really great great install you guys i think i'm gonna be doing it like this from here on out because i didn't have any issues as far as like anything it just it came out really really good so i was really happy with it So like with most 13 by four wigs, you guys, the 13 is pretty much measuring from like ear to ear, if that makes sense. And the four comes from um, how deep of a part you're gonna get. So you don't get a really deep side part uh, with this wig. You get about maybe two inches, if that, but you get the most parting space if you did a middle part. When it comes to water wave, I, I think I'm gonna stick with a side part. I just did a middle part um, and and I wasn't completely happy with how it turned out. So yeah, we're sticking with a side part here. And from here, I'm just gonna do some, you know, just do my edges, just do a little bit of baby hair. I have really been trying to study like arrogant taste style um, and a few other, as far as their hairline goes, like Jasmine Dior, I follow her on Instagram as well. So it's gonna take me some time, but I'm doing the best that I can. Just trying to just come up with um, my own style of how I like my baby hair and just making sure it's more natural. And of course that's gonna happen to when I you know get used to really customizing the front and really plucking a lot more so I just did the best that I can here you guys know I'm very honest with you and I think it came out pretty decent I kind of like this style of baby hair just how I did it I'm um, just kind of bringing the hair all the way across the forehead and then I'm just gonna tie it up as normal just using my black strip like I always do you guys right here and then I'm just gonna blow dry this down to speed up the process process. So this is how we're looking y'all and this is the hair just you know nice it's not all the way dry it's still a tiny bit damp especially close to the scalp but I wanted to show you guys how it looks um, and its fullness its density super soft really really pretty y'all I could have left it like this and been completely happy but I went on ahead and styled it for you of course um, so I'm just taking my Cura Care stick my wax stick and just going close to the 
the scalp and just kind of flattening that part out. I have such a hard time styling water wave hair because I don't like a wave like too close to the scalp, but I also want to make sure I don't like, it's not like super straight at the scalp as well when the hair is actually, you know, it has some texture to it. I hope that makes sense because it just looks very awkward. So I always have such a hard time, but this time I think I figured it out. So I'm just taking my hot comb and just removing any shedded hairs. And what I ended up doing is very simple. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how I styled this and I actually really love the way I styled it. So I'm making sure I don't spray or get like the top of my hair wet. I'm trying to keep it below my ear. So I'm trying to keep the um, the water bottle just at the, you know, just, just below my ear, very simple. And then I'm gonna take some of my um, Design Essentials mousse and I'm gonna do about like three pumps, you'll see coming up, three pumps of that. I don't want this hair to be hard, I don't want it to be stiff, and I want it to have some body, so I just wanted a tiny, tiny bit of hold, and I also wanted you guys to see the actual water wave, the actual texture, once you have shampooed and, and you know messed with it and all that kind of stuff. So here I am just applying a little bit of that foam. You can take kind of whatever you have and apply it. I just wouldn't do too much because I think this hair is pretty when it's not weighed down um, and so I'm just running my you know comb through the ends and then I'm just gonna snip off those ends as well because they look a little bit raggedy and I'm just gonna do that to the other side too I will say I did have a little bit of shedding with this wig when I washed it but it calmed down like 100% once I you know got it all styled and stuff I haven't had any issues with it so So that is pretty much it for styling. I'm just going to just take the back of my comb, my little comb right here, and just lift up those baby hair because I just don't like them plastered to my face. And neither should you, but I mean, if you do, that's your business. Um, and then I'm just gonna take some powder just to define my part. And that's pretty much all I did as far as styling goes. So a few things about this hair I want to mention. Let's start with the hairline really quickly. The hairline does need some plucking. It took me quite, a, it took me a hot second to pluck this hairline. I would say I probably spent about 20 minutes plucking it in total and it could have you know used a little bit more so keep that in mind to me you could just go ahead and wear it but i wouldn't recommend it i would go ahead and pluck just a little bit the hair came super soft you guys it's true to length it's nice and full water wave is not my like most loved like texture simply because i always have a hard time styling it um and for me i either like a straight body wave or just like a curl like no in between and water wave is pretty much in between it's one of those patterns that you can either like wear as is i could probably straighten this without a problem or i can put curls into it as well so it's a very versatile pattern to wear a curl pattern to wear but it's just not my favorite because i always have a problem styling it because it's so simple and it doesn't require a lot of work and i just think i put too much like thought into it instead of just letting it be and I could never get the top right by my part it just always looks out of whack to me it doesn't look natural and that's with any water wave texture any company that I do I don't know what it is maybe it's just me except for this time I think I finally figured it out and I think this looks really really good so I think the key to how I got it this time was just not making it so wet at the top. I just didn't want to wave like up here because it's just too hard for me to figure it out whenever the like wave pattern, curl patterns, whatever you want to call it, gets closer to the root. But the key is also to not make it too straight because then it's going to look awkward. So I think I did okay. I think, actually I think I did more than okay. I think I did pretty good this time with how I did it. One more thing when it comes to water wave, I think it just does better as a side part as well. 
versus a middle part especially on me i went back and looked at other people's water wave and just how they style it because i'm forever learning from everyone out there i watch everybody's videos you guys and i've noticed that i just tend to like water wave this particular texture when it's a side part not necessarily a middle part or anything like that you don't get that much parting space on the sides which is a little bit of a bummer other than that you guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it also keep in mind everything that i use used in my video will be it's always in my Amazon store I have you know different sections in my Amazon store and so there's a hair section in there with all the products that I use I will also put this um, information down below because I think this is a very easy wig to wear so if you are a beginner or if you're just someone who wants a very easy style something just you know great for the summer I think this is a good style to um, to look into and a great option for you. I'll put all the information about this wig down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything like that. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.